When you smell something delicious, is it real or is it a big idea? Something right here that's blowing a scent that, I mean, obviously, we don't have smell TV yet. Welcome back to the big program. Okay, if you're looking for the business that will change your life, let me give you some advice. Don't overthink this thing. Sometimes that million-dollar idea is right in front of you. It's simply a matter of seeing this thing over here and saying, well, what if I put it with this thing over here? Like my next guest, a guy who did event planning, another guy who specialized in fragrances. They put two and two together, and they're making millions. Scent Events, the company designed scents tailored to any special event. Within minutes, the space is filled with the aroma released from cartridges only slightly larger than a can of soup. Scent Events is now smelling success with revenue last year of over a million dollars, according to the company. Scott Robe and Neil Harris, co-founders of Scent Events. How are you guys? Great. Great. How are Thank you? you for having us, Donnie. Thanks for being here. This is our this Reese's is Peanut Butter segment where we go, the guy falls down the stairs with the chocolate and falls into the guy with the peanut butter, and oh, they make this great product. So oh, there you go. You guys, we got, who was the guy doing events? That's me. You were an event guy. I'm the event guy. You're a guy doing fragrances. Exactly. Let's talk about Reese's Peanut Butter, how this comes together. Okay. <laughs> I've been in the fragrance business for about 22 years, and I've seen products come and go all these years. And one of the, uh, I developed fragrances to go into household and personal care products. So I saw this technology that actually worked. We see things all the time, some work, some don't. And it scents very large spaces. You can fill a, a space as large as a stadium with these uh, machines or as small as something that we was have in the palm of your hand. something right here that's blowing a scent that, I mean, obviously, we don't have smell TV yet, but this is... <laughs> that's on the way, though. Well, on the way. This and is, we're it's working amazing. on that. This is Bartlett Pear. And Yuzu. It's a custom-created fragrance and, that we did. Our perfumers at, at Custom Essence actually did that for me. So you know you have this. You're, you're in the event business. I'm in the event business. And I started this thing about 20 years ago, and I was working at KNBC in Los Angeles as a segment producer and did want to make some money on the side, and I started doing bachelor parties where my friends are getting married, which evolved into weddings, and here I am now. Doing bat Wait a second, but <laughs> most bachelor parties, they didn't take any event planning. They just well, kind of they, were, they, they did, but okay. they took a life of its own. Oh, yes, it did. So, and so how did you tell me about the moment so, where... So I, this came together. I saw this technology and I thought, you know, this is kind of a cool thing that we could bring into the event industry. Scent marketing is, emerging, is an emerging trend, and, um, and no one's ever thought of doing it in a special event. So I contacted Scott. He and I have known each other for 20 years. So I got an idea, Scott. I can help you with the scents. You do the events. We put scent plus events equals scent events. There you go. Let's scent mm -hmm. some events. You got any clients, any parties <laughs> coming up? It's a, it's a great country. Let's scent so some like, events. Okay, okay, sounds cool. And, and then, eight, eight days after our first meeting, we, we sent it our first event. Party. What was the first event? It was a New Year's Eve party where they were doing a uh, full bar. And it was sour apple martinis with the client's favorite. And we had the sour apple scent, and they just were going all night. I love it. And, and you basically, for the Willy Wonka premiere, you... We had the whole people got out of their cars. They walked on this brown carpeting, and it smelled like chocolate. Everything just came alive. It was amazing. Idea. It was now, wild. How much... You talk about scent marketing. How much is kind of going on that if right now I'm in any retail store or something that there's scents pushing me in a certain direction? So it, it's beginning to emerge. Uh, challenges have been uh, controlling it so that you don't flood an area that doesn't want to be scented. So it's yeah. important to have controlled zones. And there's technologies evolved, involved, uh, available today that will do that. Uh, but it's becoming more and more of a brand builder. Westin Hotels, for example, smells like white tea, the properties. We so the now that agency experience. was very involved with that campaign. Okay. So you come in we actually the, did an ad where you The scent smell. of Weston. That's right. it. That was it. We're on it. No, Deutsch, you, on the cutting edge, now. my we're friend. There. We're there. You we're can't right. teach right. those dogs any new tricks. <laughs> exactly. Now what, so this is what you sent out a promo for, um, This was an example here. This Simpsons. is uh, something we did for the Simpsons, okay. mo uh, Simpsons movie that recently came out. So we wanted to set the event, and it was at the last minute. There was some complications, but we got a call. Oh, wow, you opened the like We got a donut. call, and they said, we <laughs> want to make these limited edition CDs smell like a donut, glazed donut, Krispy Kreme. Right? This They're is very amazing. specific. This is a so CD holder. The CD, it's and actually the scent is in the box. It smells like a glazed donut. I love this. Have you guys ever thought about taking this that basically if our lives are daily events, products that you sell to people in their home that different, not talking about air freshener stuff, but like, okay, today I want my home to smell like da da, -da. Not events, just the normal. We do that. Yeah, we, we do have that. clients that do that. Absolutely. Yeah, we I can do that. that. One of our clients in Palm Springs has dogs in her house, and she doesn't like the smell of wet dogs, so she has a machine As in every day. As opposed to those who do like the smell right. of wet dogs. Exactly. Right. Okay. And so she has different kinds of scents that she puts in every day. I love it. That's Scott right. Robe and Neil Harris, co-founders of Scent Events. One guy had this, one guy had that. Boom, now they got millions. You got something you're good at? Look around you. Maybe someone in your life has especially put it with yours. You got millions. What a big idea. Straight ahead.